Hi everyone, Mike Nelson here on the Satellite of Love with my buddy Crow. You're just in time to see Tom Servo's Planetarium show. What luck. Oh, Welcome, space travelers, to the Tom Star Show. Let's all hop on board the Galaxy Shuttle and take a trip through our nation's solar system. We'll be traveling at about the speed of light, yes, well over 500 miles an hour. So, haha, <laughs> fasten your seat belts. First stop, the planet Mars. Take me to Uranus. <laughs> Mars, the brightest star in our galaxy. Hey, let's it, probe Uranus. The patience, <laughs> space traveler. We'll visit all the planets. What? Are you ashamed of Uranus? Crow! Gee, I'm just trying to do a little show here. Oh, excuse me, uh, I have some questions about Uranus. <laughs> let's save our questions for the appropriate question uh, uh, and answer. Uranus oh. is big and gassy, isn't it? But, but, shut up, but ours is not the only planetary system. So, uh, and we, we have to get to Uranus and wipe out the Klingons. <laughs> Where'd he go? Then he just wouldn't let up. I mean, how many jokes about Uranus can a guy make before they just aren't funny? Hey, I know, those kind of jokes are never funny. You know, Servo, I've seen satellite pictures of Uranus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh a noser. <laughs> Hey, Nell Stone. <laughs> you know why I call you Nell Stone? Because you are so stoned, man. You wake and bake every day. You are so hot. Frank, what the hell are you doing? I really don't know. Well, stop it. Wake and bake. Anyway, Nelson, I'll get right to the point. In high school, I was awfully, awfully good at swing choir. They rejected me, and that's fueled my badness. Uh, how did you put it, Frank? It made you mad. It mm. made you mean mad. That's right. That's why It worked we... on you till you were nothing but a big ball of mean. Frank! What is with you? Jeez! Anyway, Nelson, I propose a little contest. Your swing choir against mine. Mano a mano. What do you say? Well, I was no slouch in the swing choir department myself, so, uh, guys, Gypsy, what do you say? I say let's dust his pasty swing choir butt. Yeah! yeah! Good. Well, here are your costumes and some suggested charts. Thank you, Frankie. Uh, Franklin and I will start first. Uh, standard swing choir scoring. Uh, oh, and I'll be the judge. Here we go. Long, long and tall and, and tan and lovely the guys from deep 13 go walking i'm walking in your footsteps i'm walking in his footsteps we are family i've got tv's friend he's got me you're the one that i want Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want you to want me. I need you to need me. Oh, yeah. Rivers belong where they can ramble. Eagles belong where they can fly. Round, round, get around, I get around. Get around, round, round, she gets around. This land is your land. This land is my land? That's right. From the California to the New York Island. Island. Send in the clowns. There ought to be clowns. Don't bother. They're here. <laughs> The battle was well met, my friend. Now it's time to tabulate those scores, Frank. Ah, <clears throat> I liked my originality. My costumes were fabulous. And I had a lot of energy. Uh, you were derivative. I didn't like your costumes. And your performance, well, pretty lackluster. Frank, tabulate those scores. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! We won! Oh, we yes! won! Yes! We Give me your won! Face, Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, got a good one for you today. It's a little thing called Skydiver. It's kind of like Manos without the lucid plot. But first, 
an industrial art short. Catch you later, man. <laughs> Did Forrester's dance make anyone else physically ill? I liked it. Oh, oh we got moving oh, beside. Oh, da, 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 da. I thought they were great. On parade. Oh, this is one of uh, Sousa's tender love ballads. <laughs> Why are you... Because you're bad at math. <laughs> no student's arms were harmed in the making of this film. Well, Someone got a doctorate in industrial arts? Loser. Thank you, Centron. Depressed yet? <laughs> you know, it's fun to have an idea. There, wasn't that fun? To be able to put that idea down on paper. I can't do it, but... Yeah, take shape in wood. Avoid taking real classes. <laughs> in metal. Why, you can make your own bomb. In plastic. Or skin, if you can get it. Yeah. Or in leather. Who am I kidding? This will never go with my outfit. And you know I like the feel of a board moving smoothly against a sharp <laughs> saw. <laughs> And I thrust the nail into the soft, yielding wood. I like the smell of fresh wood chips and sawdust. I put them in my underwear. Oh. Oh. The bright oh. glare of a welder. I like to sneak in and lay on the table saw. Yes. The sharp whine of a power tool. The piercing scream of a freshman. Oh. Or the dull tap, tap of tools on leather. Rat -a -tat -tat. I keep popular mechanics under I my like mattress. <laughs> Feeling of chaps with no pants. <laughs> a wrench. Let it go, man. Shop class was a long time ago. It's over. A plane. These tools are my friends. <laughs> or a chisel. Oh, what about girls, young man? No. Girls. No, chisel. And I feel real good because I'm a craftsman. And not a killer. Because I can use my <laughs> mind and my hands to create. Of course, I don't know if I'd ever tell my buddies all this. Because, <laughs> well, sometimes they laugh when you tell them things like this. Then they pants you and drag you around the track. Any talk of unions brings a threat of reprisals at this school. <laughs> hey, Joe, come on, let's do a basketball practice. Okay, but wait till I finish cleaning up here. Hey, you making this? I'm making it for the Grand Wizard. You know, this looks as good as furniture you'd buy in a store. It ought to. It's taken me long enough to make it. Kind of slow, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I've learned nothing making this one. I could probably make another in about yeah. half the time. Still, your Mexicans do it real cheap. How do you like this shop course, Joe? I like it swell. Why? Could you staple my ears well, back? Well, uh, didn't you ever wonder what good you'd get out of a course like this? Yeah, I did. As a matter of fact, I went to Mr. Barnes, the shop teacher, and asked him about it. He said that with the large amount of construction work that goes on... Today, with the large amount of construction work that's taking place in our country's expansion, we need many more young men who are trained to design our future. We'll need architects... We'll take hair from the back of your head and we plug it into the top. Designers... A new fangled bong. <laughs> and draftsmen... Extruded plastic dingus. There. And Joe, we'll need scores of men who can translate and build those ideas on paper into the actual homes, churches, schools, and factories of the future. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll need engineers. I don't trust my wife. Made phone call for Carpenters. Her. We'll need actors, people who can read lines with and interact with Steel others. workers. Crazy glue spokesman. Got it, got it. Wow, hot, whoa. And plumbers. I can't get this thing back in my pants, Earl. We'll need men who can design the machines of the future, yeah. and men who can build, operate, and repair these machines. We'll need electrical engineers. Yes, one of these in every home. Pattern makers. But why the hat? Why not a kicky beret? Ooh. Foundry men. Oh, you never would believe where those Keebler cookies come from. Tool operators. Tool operators. Tool operators. Tool and mechanics. This came out of me. Uh, what do you make Ooh. of it? And Joe, these are just a few of the occupations I could name. That's right. All of these jobs pay well and afford challenges and chances of advancement.
to the individual. I want to be a hairdresser. But, Mr. Barnes, the courses I take here won't actually prepare me for one of these jobs when I graduate, will they? No, you'll probably need more training by either going on to college <laughs> or by apprenticing yourself into one of the skilled trades. But believe me, Joe, the basic training you get in these courses now will give you a Joe the fellow who hasn't had such experiences. Looks like he made his shirt out of wood. <laughs> That's what Mr. Barnes had to say on the value of courses like this. These bourgeois. Yeah, you plan to be an engineer, Joe, and, and I can't see how industrial arts courses will do me much good if I should decide to go into business or something like that. You can't, huh? No. Me neither. Well, come on, boy. Let's go to basketball practice. And meanwhile, I want to set you straight on a few of the facts of life. <laughs> For instance, did you know that no matter what job you go into after you graduate, your voice changes. You'll be able to use lots of the things you've learned in your industrial arts courses. No! No! Turn it technology. off! The whole the cow got all the whole... will give you a basic knowledge of those operations. Maybe you'll be a farmer, mm -hmm. and knowing how to build improvements mm -hmm. around the farm mm -hmm. and how to repair all the equipment you use mm -hmm. is a must for you in that operation. I forgot the door. Or oh. you can go on in your studies and become an industrial arts teacher, like Mr. Barnes. Mm. He sure enjoys his Good work. work. And he told me that there is always a demand for industrial arts what teachers, and crap? they're among the best paid in the teaching Give me profession. this. No! Wrong! Do it again! Hi, Bill. Hi, Joe. I'm not a communist. But, like you say, what if you should go into business or selling or something like that? Well, you'll still be dealing with material. You'll still have to be able to recognize quality material and quality craftsmanship. And it only weighs 500 pounds. <laughs> if you're in production, You'll have to know what materials and techniques can best be combined to give you a quality product at a low cost. Yeah, this makes the army look good. Look at this. Should I pop this? No. Nope. Bill, you're going to have to look far and wide to find a job that doesn't in some way or other use industrial arts. Top there, a pinup of Kathy well, Bates. Well, maybe so, but <laughs> hey, how about the coach? I bet he doesn't. You bet he doesn't what? Mm -mm. Oh, hi, coach. Well, uh, well, we, we were just talking. Uh, what about it? When you start making bets on me, I'm interested. Hey. Well, we were talking about different jobs in which industrial arts training is used, and, well, Bill thinks he thinks the coaching isn't one of them, huh? Loser, well, give me Bill, 20! I took some industrial arts courses when I was in school. Look at me now. And except for some work on the gym floor and knowing a little bit about plastics and some other materials used in sports equipment, actually, it hasn't helped me a great deal with my coaching. See? Wait a minute. I'm glad I took those courses. Oh, we may have worked on Model A's instead of hot rods when I took my mechanics course. Of but in it, I gained a mechanical interest and know-how that stayed with me through all these years. Uh, boys, Friends, boys, I my car to go someplace. I can open I the door. I feel pretty confident that in case of minor trouble, I can fix it, or at least recognize its source. Help! Help me! I can't do anything about it. Help! Why the cat's in here? Recently, my wife and I bought a home. What are you doing? We felt much sure that we were getting our money's worth because of my experience with industrial arts. Get on up here, Sporto. Now, people like to whisper the word sinkhole around this neighborhood, but it's really not a problem. Eh? I could tell whether good quality wood had been used. Hey, crummy. Well, we'll just paper this. Whether adequate electrical wiring had been installed. Okay, we can use a toaster or the lamp. I could tell what interior woods and finishing materials had been used and whether these were likely to stand up under wear. Don, there's a lovely kill floor in here. Or well, the previous tenant didn't flush. And since that time, I've done a lot of work on the house myself. I put a patio in the living room. I built on a new room mm -hmm. and made a recreation room out of it. Most of the minor repair work that comes up around the house, I can take care of myself. Of course, when the house began sliding downhill, that there was a different story. There are lots of things story. I'd like to build now, but I just haven't got the time. But when I retire, I'll have a ready-made <laughs> hobby to keep me busy. I'll build giant recipe card boxes. You know, fellows, there's a feel about it that I like. His disciples. For being able to visualize something and then create it with my own hands. The semi-nude club. As a matter of fact, most industrial arts courses will help you in sports because they do help you to coordinate mind and body. Say body again, sir. Hey, this is basketball practice, not a lecture course. Who's <laughs> the shop class version? I believe I will take a couple of industrial arts courses mm -mm, next no. year. Fine, Bill. Say, uh, you're no shop man. How do you think my car would look? Well, if I uh, smoothed out the hood and put a new grill in it and, you know, made a real rod out of it. Great. Just let me go. Please, yeah. please don't touch me anymore. Don't oh, know. This is the film the boys had to watch and the girls had to go to the gym and watch the other film. Mm, that one. <laughs> hmm? 
Come here, you big lug. <laughs> A National Geographic special. <laughs> Kevin Casey as Beth and Tony Cardoza as Nancy. Hmm? Well, how fire ants off. Ooh. Let's do the sky dialer. They shoot horses, don't they? Hey, Big J. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like the Spruce Goose is chaperoning a teen party here. Ah, this is just a typical Brainerd International Raceway party. Yep. Boy, it's amazing how many of these people went on to have major careers. <laughs> yes. Oh, I know what this is. This is an I can't pay you, but I'll put your name in the credits cast list. <laughs> Commandments had a smaller cast than this. <laughs> all woman, all the time. Like a typical Irish wake. Ooh. Well, so far they're really hitting the skydiving hard. Look at them go. <sighs> come on, come on, baby. Bravo respects the rights of the artists, but we cut their films anyway. Ouch, zing. The clown plane. <laughs> I can see why they bailed. They're doing this to get an aerial shot of that lady's cleavage. <laughs> Dirty. Primitive crop dusting, isn't it? <laughs> Weekdays and holidays are kind of slow. There is no landscape bleaker than that of the rural airport. I just like to go and watch the plane land. <laughs> Suddenly, Frank Duvall is there. <laughs> Marlo Thomas in That Guy. <laughs> Loretta Lynn in Co-Pilot's Daughter. Beth, is Frankie here? Frankie is not here. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Oh. When will he be here? He won't. He was fired. Fired? Hmm? Susie, Frankie was fired for being drunk. I got drunk and you never fired He's me. Not. You don't work here. I don't think you came oh. out here in the hot sun looking for Frankie. Am I that transparent? Hmm? I had to take the tractor because my dad took the car. He'd never touch you, Terry. You're dirt. Ooh. Wow. Zoo. Lumpy butt. Oh. Hey, lumpy butt. <laughs> Stop calling me lumpy butt. Nothing. No, nothing. Nope. There's a pot of coffee on the stove for you, Harry. Coffee? Thanks. That's better than sex. I'm going to take it up for a check. Coffee? Yeah, I'm going to go watch the key fobber hearings anyway. <laughs> Whoa! Ow. If only he'd taken an industrial arts class. At least there's this riveting soundtrack. This is downright Hitchcockian. Robin Hitchcock. <laughs> I'm going to fly down to the Wind Dixie. There's a heck of a lot of glancing going on here. I'm going to spin donuts all over your cruddy airfield. Terror at sea level. <laughs> More terrifying than Airport 77. <laughs> the loneliness of the long distance greaser. <laughs> hey, but the plane was moving in your. Hey! <laughs> you know where the non dairy creamer is, honey? I'm sorry, I thought it was the car. My face is too tight. I saw my hair in the mirror and I panicked. I don't know. Frankie overhauled the engine. Mere plane accidents make me hot. Or at least he said he did. Mm -hmm. I'll tax it back. What did he mean by that? The place is just crawling with missile silos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, honey. Let's get you back in there. And in this corner, the Piper comes. How's that? Ooh, yeah. Wait here, I'll be right back. How are you? Pete, 
I've never been better. Hmm. How about driving me out there? I want to make a free fall. On you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. You're not ready to go up alone yet. Oh, I'm ready, Beth. Hmm? I had my static jumps already. Come on, take me out there. Please. What the? Huh? What the? Okay. Ow. I'll check you out. Let me get the rubber glove. What's that? What? Get prettier every day. <laughs> oh. She must have written the dialogue. <laughs> Uh, I think you'll need the plane, too, Tony. Bob, you ready? Come here, Harry. Wait, he, he uh, was there, the, and now he, the plane was... Someone with attention what? deficit disorder edited this film. Tell your little brother thanks for the helmet. Let's go. Ping. Oh! <laughs> What's the point of a helmet in skydiving? In case you land on your head? Generic plane. Cheaper than other planes. Okay, bye now. Oh boy, good luck. Oh. See you later. Bye bye now. Bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Honey, even if a hairstyle is in, it may not be the right one for you. Keep up the front. I've changed my mind. Sure, there's a lot of white trash down there. <laughs> Well, sorry, they overbooked the flight. You'll get a free ticket when you hit the ground. Go so on. Sounds like Superman's out there. Okay, one, two, three. No, wait. Okay, one, two, three. No. Okay, one, two, three now. No. These, I didn't think we'd go this high. Look, from here, she looks like an ant that gets prettier every day. Hey, what up? Oh, no, this is my camping gear. Hold on. Is today the day they're testing that bomb? <laughs> ah, jeez, he's caught on the wing of the plane again. Hey, I can see my feet from here. <laughs> that was incredible. Should I be gaining speed? then how's that wallet coming there tom okay i guess it's pathetic you're gonna flunk shop hey. it's so embarrassing Shut up. <laughs> hey how's your hey hey what how's your shop project there crow yeah. project oh you mean that napkin holder thingy oh it's uh, it needs a little work i'll be right back <laughs> uh-huh yeah thought so all right well let's take a look at it here sporto it's not done my arms don't work okay oh hey crow you sure you can handle that thing? Piece of cake, Mike. Now, well, just make sure you observe all the proper safety precautions. Ah, uh, safety schmafety. Hey, are you wearing your goggles? Yeah, yeah, who needs them? Oh, 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 what happened? <laughs> it's oh, no. just a scratch. Hey, what do you think of her? She's a beaut, huh? Hey, bird brain, you forgot the best part. What, the... what did you do? Well, ask him. It's his fault. Is not. Is too. Is not. Is too. Industrial too, arts. Not, because too, the future not, belongs too, to the skilled. Not, <laughs> uh, uh, perfect. There. Uh, uh. Safe boating is no accident. Ted Kennedy's PT-109. <laughs> I've saved you from your boat, honey. <laughs> Enjoy this tribute to white, white body. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me to the Eel Park Festival. Mm. White kiss. I need to get out of the sun to maintain my fish belly white complexion. Mm. Will I see you tomorrow? Well, you have to ask the editor. Yeah. No, Susie. <laughs> Not tomorrow. I have a headache tomorrow. Gee, she looks like she's from Middle Earth. <laughs> um, Susie, that's my car. I'm pretty sure that you can have it. I just. I'm blind. I probably shouldn't be driving. 
Here's a tip. Don't buy the Tommy Kirk workout video. <laughs> hey, look, Benji got an Oldsmobile. He's riding with FDR. Dog days at Campobello. <laughs> oh, he delivers dogs. What? Harry Reams? What is he doing? Oh. Oh, she's setting up for a seance. They're going to invoke the spirit of the continuity man. <sighs> now I lay me down to eat. <laughs> Honey, the noodle is ready. Play it, man. Do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> the Red Baron's going to appear. Hmm? Hi, Harry. I managed to get us a reservation. <laughs> Fun, huh? <laughs> Joe Moss. Mm. You haven't heard from him in a long Joe time, Ma? have you? What the? Here comes Bronson. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm Forbes to the rescue. The night we dropped on Korea seems like only a dream. The picture you sent of Beth, well, all I can say is. You're lucky. Then it says, ha, ha, ha. Just plain lucky. Ha, ha, ha. I'll wrap yeah. it up for now. If you ever need a good mechanic, just send me a note attached to a homing pigeon, and I'll come around it. Well, he sure makes a letter come alive. Good luck <laughs> with your jump school. And Creeley Bill. Yeah. As always, Joe. Duh. Get your motor running. Maybe. No. With Frankie gone, we could use a good mechanic now, Harry. Dinner isn't white enough, Couldn't honey. pay Joe very much, but if you want to, why don't you ask him to come out here? The monitor lizard looks delicious. Yeah, not a bad idea. <laughs> I'm going home on that idea. <laughs> Ow. Ow, my hinder. <laughs> why are they sitting in a refrigerator box? Harry. What's happened to us? Geez, I just read a letter. Just nice, not like it used to be at all. I'm lonely down there. Something's come between us. Geez, they should set a place for and a racer I, I head. You know that <laughs> I'll stick by you until the last propeller falls off the plane. It's so funny you should bring that up. The last propeller Listen, just... Harry, for... don't you? Hmm. Uh, wow. Her helmet shifted. She didn't fasten her chin strap. Jim Jarmusha's scenes from a marriage. I'll get the dessert. All right, Harry. <laughs> if it's the tuna helper you want. Can I be excused? I have to go cheat on you. This man stands to win over. I thought he'd love the English muffin pizza, but no. <laughs> Claude Aikens. Oh, no. Oh, I Mm -hmm. Oh, please, I'm not a huggy person. <laughs> I want to bite and kiss you, rough boys. Oh, you should wait half an hour after eating before wrestling. Industrial arts business. Oh, hey, I get to be the stewardess this time. Oh, get in there. Ooh, right in the fuselage. I guess the job interview wasn't going that well. Hold on. Clear. Ah. Ooh. I, 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 uh, now the Harry Krishners just come right out to the runway. <laughs> and the pet shop boys have creative differences. <laughs> Give me your lunch money, you knob. I think they're going for the Quiet Man movie fight record. <laughs> Is this part of the pre-flight checklist? No, in the world of skydiving, it's often brother against brother. 
Wilbur, Orville, come on. Please. Oh, come on, I'm wearing mascara. I want the dark-haired guy to win. Yeah, the one in the dark clothes? I like them both. I care deeply about them as characters. Okay, you don't have a bathroom I can use. Sorry. Oh, my implants! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, Harry. Harry, I'll tell Beth. Tell Beth? Hmm? About what? Susie's my girl. Bill? You leave her alone. So, hey, does this feel kind of funny to you yeah. here? My girl, Susie. Harry? Well, that's what he did. Susie. I don't. Get up. Get on up. You lost. lost. Susie's nobody's girl. You oh, promised Susie. to marry me. Okay, marry you. you can have her, but I get your bike. All right, Frankie. You stay away from here. I'll stay away from your girl. Frankie, if I ever see you around here again, I'll break both of your legs. What if I don't bring them with me? You hear me, Frankie? Both of them. Now, come on up to the house for cheesecake, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was born to be wild. My mom said I was. He is surprisingly firm. Nice thighs. This isn't the only great town I could go to, you know. <laughs> hey, you get that motorcycle out of this here, Mark. <laughs> huh? All the heads came off. Did you pack my makeup case? You think it's worth it, Bernie? Hmm? Yeah, I think so. Feels good making like a bird floating around up there. Hooping on people. You know, Beth? I'm Rita Moreno. If I couldn't jump once in a while... What'd you ask me? I think I'd crack up. Hoop -hoop. I don't know. Seems like I get rid of all my worries every time I jump. I guess that's why most of us jump. Me? I want to be a dandelion. Or maybe we're scared. Maybe we're dumb. Maybe we. La 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 la. I'm not listening. To prove that we're not scared. Anytime you're ready. Ah. Oh, five minutes, Terry. What the? Ooh, Aim and Gareth on I guitar. I've seen a three-man pass before. I haven't either. Huh? Doodles Weaver is a racer head. You think they'll make it? Don't see why not. Not easy, but it's been done before. Wow. Here they come. Hey, don't go away until I get a good one. Hold it, boys. I want to get a nice picture now. Here, honey. Well, this is for the circulating hey, pine, so smile. Let's get one with the bride's right, parents. I'll see you after you get down. Yeah. Right. Now, Bernie, stay on heading, and I'll be down to you as soon as I can. I'll be looking for you, Bob. Okay. I'll be the stain on the runway. Hey, Orville Moody. Hey, Orville. Wonder how high they're going to jump. I don't know. Well, they really captured that kind of situation, didn't they? <laughs> Welcome to Itty Bitty Airline. <laughs> now, did you make a potty? Good. You jump? He's covering the event for Crawdaddy. Yeah, give me a little push, Beth. There we go. Oh. Oh. All out. <laughs> Love that bob. Get him, get him, yes! Slice him, come yes, on, get him! Oh. Oh. Uh, Roger, Tower, which way is the sky? Uh, oh, okay. And here's what I learned in prison. Newspapers? Thank you. Nope. Magazines? Nope. Oh, now we'll never know. <laughs> then what do you do them pictures? Just sit home and look at them. Steve, we're still on the runway. You might want to... Hey! Gary, you need your shoot? Oh, oh, oh. oh man, it's cold up here. I should have brought a light wrap. <laughs> Face is really flapping, Herb. But he's not wow. skydiving naked. Yeah. Wow. The actors do their own skydiving? No, the skydivers did their own acting. <laughs> 
be something really pure about jumping without a chute. You know? You're pain. Picked a good day to do it. It's not crowded. This is primitive map making. They're drawing real fast. Our parachuting idol is Trini Lopez in the Dirty Dozen. It's because he fell and died. Yes. <laughs> They're over the land of Dairy Queen. Hmm. What if we dive through? Hey, here's a candy bar. Excuse me, we're filming a James Bond movie here. Could you move, please? The Earth has a big zipper running. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. With my luck, I'd fall right in a stump grinder. Mm. Kissing close. Hey, a Walmart got built since we jumped. <laughs> I'm gonna go land in Utah. Whoa, sorry, I had Mexican for lunch. Uh, was I supposed to have one of those? Yeah. Uh, was this supposed to be attached directly to my jock strap? Ow. You know, the fact that they skydive doesn't make me like them. The plane expels its seed, which drifts over the prairie and attaches itself to pistols and stingers. Hey, that one is screaming and flailing. See? Why, Jeannie C. Riley. Oh. Her beauty has leveled off. The Virgin Mary has appeared, and she wants the world to build airfields. God, I gotta move the Jeep. So beautiful. Oh, my shit bone! Oh, God! <laughs> now to finish the job and run him over. Seems like they forgot to have things happen in this movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's it. Shoot, forgot to eat my lunch while I was up there. Today I feel positively tawny. I always bring more stuff than I need. Let's review. Uni, Roy, hey, Al. Hey, Bob. Let's try that same thing again at night. That'd be a good deal. Anytime with me, nighttime or daytime. Hey, yeah, but let's paint the baton with some luminous paint, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wish we were them. They started out as a paralegal center, but it didn't really catch on. Then no. a parakeet farm. But that's oh, do shut up. <laughs> Ah, drama. You see, because the character didn't know where the sports parachuting place was before. Right. Now it's it does. changed in some resolution. Right. Ah, the Nebraska State Forest. Welcome to Ground Zero. The left turn is successfully executed. Hands of ten and two. Now that's the last time I let a dart decide where I go on vacation. Skydiver darts in front of the car. Dad, can we change the radio station? Dad! Dad! <laughs> Help me, Lord, I'm being sucked into the vortex of sport parachuting! Hey, everyone, it's me! Hi. Hello? Hey? Anyone want to buy a saxophone? Our house is so baggy. They've achieved perfect Hugo, Minnesota. <laughs> Pile! Seed was supposed to start an hour ago. Where were you? I know you. <laughs> Beth? You're pretty in your picture. Joe. Joe Moss, how are you? Oh, it seems like I've known you all my life. I've heard so much about you. How was your trip? Great. Good. Great. How about some coffee? Coffee? What is this coffee? I like coffee. Good. And thus we peer into the complex inner workings of this character. So, how long have you liked coffee? Where is it, your coffee? <laughs> so she's hooking up with Donald O'Connor now, huh? Mm -hmm. So, coffee or... Shut up! Shut up! I like 
like this place. We like it. I'd like it better if it were paid for, though. <laughs> well? You know I know. What? I'm pretty. Where's the general? The gen... Oh! <laughs> he had to go into the village and check the troops. Uh, weren't you saying something about some coffee? <laughs> No, I think you're right. For <laughs> coffee underachievers. Mm. Coffee's a major plot point. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I wonder who this is going to be. Let's see. Oh, good. Now <laughs> the scene's going to pick up. There we go. <sighs> Joe, it's good to see you. Harry, it's good to see you, too. Have you met when your you wife? Oh, rolled in about an hour ago. <laughs> this young lady here offered me a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, good. Look at her can I get his coffee? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like you so crazy. I thought, oh my God! <laughs> Holy crow! Did we uh, catch you at a bad time? Well, well uh, it's a little awkward, Mike. I uh, kind of got myself caught in a uh, double jock lock. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, a double jock like beloved high school prank, uh -huh. wherein the victim, uh, usually an unathletic nerd, well, like say Crow, Crow. right, <laughs> has the loops of his jock strap pulled up over his leg, yeah. rendering it virtually impossible for the victim to free himself. Oh, the double <laughs> jock lock sounds like pure Americana, but Crow, how the heck did you get into one? <laughs> well, I uh, basically did it to myself as a uh, learning experience. Uh -huh. I wanted to see if I could get out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did you learn? I can't. <laughs> okay, well. You need any help freeing yourself? No, <laughs> Mike. I think it's important that I learn to get out on my own because uh, this is going to come up again. <laughs> All right, then. Well, we're going to take off. Uh, good luck there. Okay. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> I really admire you. <laughs> the Thanks. <man> needs help. <laughs> 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 well, live and learn, huh? Well, this shouldn't be a problem unless, of course, we have... Movie sign! Oh, no! <laughs> Now we'll look at the lighter side of skydiving. <laughs> oh, funny. Work, huh? uh, yeah. Look at he goes through more dogs that way. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a lot of bikers out too. <laughs> Even the soundtrack's making coffee. <laughs> Let's watch <laughs> our intrepid hero as he gets himself into another goofy situation. I predict in the climactic finale, she jumps without a shoot and then her hair opens What's up. What's all the excitement, Pete? I want to try something different. I want a free fall from uh, 5,500 to 1,000. You know we can't let you do that. You want the man from the FAA down here? Well, who's going to tell, not me? Oh, come on, Pete. May as well forget it. What's the matter, kid? Cat 11? Well, who's your friend, Harry? Joe Moss, we jumped with the 11th Airborne. Likes coffee. Hi, Joe. Oh, hi. You have a free fall? Not yet. Well, you ought to. It's fun. Do it. Why do you get out of this here jumping, Pete? Bottom feeder. I don't know. I feel real free up there in that high blue sky. Cops can't touch Over me up here. there. I'll tell you what to do. You just have to please yourself up there. It's oh. free. Hmm? <laughs> wow. Forget it, Pete. 2200 and pull it or forget it. It's fun, man. All right, Harry, 2200 for you. Who's driving? I'll drive. Let's go. <laughs> Quick, go cash his check. This time we're only going up 15 feet, Harry. It's fun. <laughs> I guess we're all a little mixed up. Really? Do you put beans in your Are nose? You yeah. He's all right. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Just drive. I am not talking to you. Drive. What about that coffee of yours? Uh, gonna know? Or a tea, maybe? Some... They had to hack that runway out of the jungle. Post them? A little Bevo, perhaps? Just going for a drive. Get up in the air. Sure hope there's more skydiving. <laughs> okay, are you ready to talk now? Hey, that's my car! 
I forgot my lift. Tang, little tang. I don't feel like jumping. Let's go to the zoo. It's fun. <laughs> you said to jump toward the propeller, right? You don't know about this. Geronimo Mamolo. <laughs> what if it were me, I'd parachute right into a Mr. Bulky warehouse. Mm. It's about 2,000. Open it up, Pete. Come on. Hmm. This was before Sam Snipe decided to test luggage this way. First, they tested humans. What is me pool? Panic! Oops, stage direction. Sorry. Wow, well, hey, geez, the last 2,000 feet is the quickest. <laughs> oh, get a spatula and a garbage bag. I'm okay. I will never have coffee. Well, at least you won't have to repack his chute. There's a cactus up my eye. <laughs> <laughs> this was his batch. <laughs> hey, from here it looked like a chute didn't know. Open. Uh, just tell me where the coffee is. I'll make it myself. Huh. They thought of scattering his remains from an airplane, but it seemed a little insensitive. At least it wasn't me. Hey, where's Squishy? <laughs> He landed out of bounds. It's a two-stroke penalty. Oh, here's their spin doctor. <laughs> Many people have enjoyed sport parachuting without dying. <laughs> we'll start the scene here. No, oh, Harry. I'm sorry, but you'll have to stay closed until I hear from the main office. If we stay closed too long, Mr. Morgan, we... We can't kill people. We'll lose our place. Well, I'll notify you as soon as possible. Damn. Good day. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Fred Allen, ladies and gentlemen. Fred <laughs> Allen. <laughs> right. Ooh, someone's got a pant load. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way to kill the customers, honey. Yeeks. Want to break up again? Maybe that'll cheer us up. It's your fault. Should we Harry? pick up the body? I'm scared. Guess there's no need to be scared. We just got Uncle Sam barking down a snorkel. It's not Morgan that I'm scared about. It's... Well, what does scare you? Soda crackers. I don't know why. Hmm? I forgot my line. Let's trash the scene. I'll be in my trailer. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too sharp. Whoa. And stop. Okay, are we getting this? Keep those cameras rolling. Come on. Beautiful. Out of the car. Yes. Yes, turn. Do that devilish curve step up. Beautiful. Print it. <laughs> Indoor skydiving. How solid is a skydiving-based economy? I don't know. Luxury. Drops. Give me a double whiskey. i got to pack my chute. Yeah, here's your Fox Deluxe. Oh, now we know what fuels the movie. Gee, gosh, gosh. <laughs> nice of the director to give you a break. Here's a breath mint as a friend. <laughs> That's the guy who killed that guy. Oh. Pushed him right out Harry. of the plane. Play number 6A. By Lips, Inc. Lousy buzz. <laughs> Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, the Femi Fatally. <laughs> Jeez, Dylan Thomas was in here. He didn't drink this much. <laughs> the dress is going through the time tunnel. Catering by Love's Pit Barbecue. Harry, I gotta talk to She's you. She's extra smoky. Susie, you're abroad. Get lost. Hmm? Oh, there's a sudden flurry in the corner. He can't get away. This could be it. Right there. <laughs> oh, hey, nice interior. 
So Saturday then? Loves pit barbecue, the best meat you can eat. Love. Well, technically I am abroad. I gotta give him that. She's got more pancake than the IHOP. <laughs> Serving the Tri-County area. Loves pit barbecue, hooker, barstow, and needles. Loves pit barbecues. Hey. From a sailing adventure in Kuala Lumpur to a tawdry affair at Lake Mead, Schlitz is there. She's wearing huggies. Neat. Enjoy my armpit. <laughs> sure. Why are they cranking the Rimsky Korsakov? Hey, hey! hey. This lake has artificial bass environment written all over it. <laughs> now it's a scow! The boat is a shapeshifter! Uh, hold it, I sliced my foot on a beer can. Hold it. <laughs> Frolicking has never been so depressing. He's rolled down by contact. No, she's up! If this were me, I'd get prickly rash. Okay, do it quick. Get it over with. Ooh, Jim Carrey. Frankie, do you still love me? <laughs> do you want your job back, Frankie? Harry won't take me back. Harry will take you back. Dating Recessa Annie. <laughs> Just as soon as that old FAA man lets him open up again. Oh, the fair man? Harry will do anything. For me. Yeah. That here is a crazy man. Brain pan of a collie, this just one. don't see eye to eye. I might have to whoop him again. Uh, I'm hungry for cupcakes. Frankie, I don't know why. Why do you suppose Pete's chute didn't open? Target fixation. Panic. Guess he got the fever. I almost got it once. Just couldn't pull the ring. Mm. Never felt that way before. Can I go home Tell now? Like I was on my way to heaven. <laughs> Skydiver joke, oh, I guess. I suppose that's yeah. why you don't jump anymore, Frankie. You're afraid you'll go to heaven, and you won't find me there. Well, you should set up a time to meet in heaven. She's got Frankie. teeth like a Ferengi. <laughs> oh, lady! Suppose, wow! <laughs> suppose somebody put acid in somebody's shoot. I think it would go something like this. That's it. That would be the ultimate high. As it would eat holes in the chute. Yeah. What is that smell? That great big mm. terrible gust of wind would make great big holes in it. What is that? Am I lying on something dead? White Castle right. hamburgers? We could do that, but it would be wrong. Yeah, but if people ever found out... They'd know about it. Kiss me. Frankie, you're kissing an anthill. Are you going to have a baby now? I mean, really kiss me, Frankie. OK, let me get a running start. Here I come. <clears throat> Moving past the uvula, we now visit the trachea. Wow, going through a whole six pack of Pepsi. Sorry, nothing. Susie, what makes you so mean? Your pa gave you everything, nice tea bird. Speedboat, beautiful ranch. A string of Palapanese. Horses and cattle. You've got everything a girl needs. I got a pig when I was eight. You got me, Susie. You got a lot of hair up your nose there. My paw. He gave me everything. He gave me too much. He gave me Michael Landon's face. We were always alone together. He didn't think I needed anybody else. Mm. He followed me everywhere. What? Everywhere. Oh, that's nice. Can I have another Pepsi? Oh, Frankie, let's not talk about it anymore. Just kiss me. <clears throat> Moving down further into the esophagus itself. What are you doing? Working for Christo. Oh, taking down this wire. Don't want the place to burn up before it's paid for. <laughs> All done. That was terrific. I guess. 
Due to my education in industrial arts, I knew my wife was having an affair. Hi. Boy, I'm really not attracted to your wife. <laughs> She's a regular orangutan. So, what you doing? Harry, this deal the FAA handed you. It's tough on you. Is your wife seeing anyone right now? Maybe I'd better look around for another job until you open up again. Yeah, well, I don't know, Joe. Maybe we'll open in a few days. Who knows? Anyway, stick around. Relax. Make yourself at home. Enjoy my wife. This is better than Korea, isn't it? Nice turning into Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> Raise it to the ladder. Two zips and we're naked. <laughs> Manos. <laughs> the hands of fate. This is not an appealing spot in this town. What if you put acid in someone's toaster? What if you soaked someone's donut in acid? Joe Weider's super gold weight gain. Yep, for the hard gainer. Yeah. It's like Snuffy Smith's prescription. <laughs> it's Jackie Gleason's music to get acid by. Shall we begin? My breasts will be right back. Right, I have to buy your jock itch cream. I was looking for something in a vitriol. Wow, may I have a little acid? Oh, Mr. Gower. Stand by for the 9 o'clock news. Well, I think, will someone watch the, I'm sure someone will watch the counter. Oh, oh my, yes, oh, there. Oh, 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 oh yes. Can we drive down to old Tijuana? Ole. He's like an idiot savant, minus the savant. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Well, there must be a large assortment of acids from which to choose. What if she just comes back with folic acid? Citric. No, Lupita. Ever since he went to the barter system, things have been great. Uh, are any impulse items? Uh, I, uh, sex for sundries is fun. Hey, sex for sundries is fun. Everybody, sex for sundries is fun. Hey, sex for sundries is fun. Hey, hey. Wow. Well, the spirit was willing anyway. Oh. Oh. So nothing happened between you and the... No, no, a simple acid purchase. Oh, it seemed to take a Dr while. Well, there were credit applications, you know, things like that. Well, Frankie, this is it. Yeah? What? Gotta be careful, Susie. Real careful. Are you gonna do it, Frankie? Hmm? Or am I gonna have to? Well, I have to go to the Rat Boy audition. Well, I haven't opened up yet, Susie. Jeez, you could use that face to Jimmy Dorlocks. No planes fly. Jimmy Dorlocks. <laughs> they will. They'll be flying soon. I'll sleep with the planes if I have to. Well, Frankie, are you a chicken? Oh, let me see. Am I a chicken? Well, I don't have a comb or a gizzard, but sometimes <laughs> I do ingest gravel to grind my food <laughs> in my... Uh, no. Well... All right, Susie. All right. Double D indemnity. They kiss like dolphins. <coughs> honk, honk. Hey, I kissed her. Honk. Hey, everybody kissed her. Morning, kissed her. <laughs> hey, morning. Oh, I've been waiting the whole movie for this scene. She looks like a munchkin from this angle. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, could you? Uh, no, 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 sir. Could you pull a little closer to the pumps? Uh, uh, could you? I'll oh, forget it. What's all the excitement? This came from Morgan's office. FAA ran a check. We're clear. Huh? Excitement. <sighs> He'll mail us a formal notice. That is great. I'll oh, you know I'm a bleeder. Really like these new hernia packs. Hey, Bob, you jumping first? Uh, Bernie jumps first, I'm following. You gonna watch? Sure am, Bernie. I like to watch. Hey, why don't you jump and take pictures going down? Who do you think I am? Some kind of nut? No, we <laughs> think you're a hopeless camera club geek. Ha <laughs> 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 Look over there, it's the dark grandma of death. <gasps> no. 
Oh, look, Bill's kissing my wife, and hey. Are we in the Milky Afterglow? That? Yeah. I thought they was going to both jump using only one shoe. <laughs> Wait a minute, this afternoon. <laughs> now, that is something. <laughs> I hear you're all going to have a big night jump. Is that right, Beth? That's right. Bob, Bernie, myself, Harry, the whole work. Jim, we're going to have a big twist party the night of the jump. By golly, that is something. It sure is. Twist and then jump. <laughs> Will there be mashed potatoes? Oh, heavens, we'd better leave Earl. I put the black curse of Boki on him. Oh. Margaret Burke White on the scene. Pure, bare, naked plane without no markings. Ooh. Hey, that's your wife down there kissing that blonde guy? Someone's a pal. Camp, 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 camp. <laughs> Are we not men? You know, being as roguish as I am, I leave myself open to chicks throwing acid in my shoes. By the way, anybody know who I am? Assume gawking position. We're poor but clean. <laughs> Say, Bill, does your unit ever get windburned? Chapped? Okay, double whip out of 4,000 feet. Woo! <laughs> what? It's really uncomfortable, isn't it? Ah, ah, Polly, your cheeks are flapping again real bad this time. Carry me. Oh, they're getting bigger. Oh, closer, I think. What are you doing? Get off me. I've got the entire out here, sky. Roy. No, 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 not Don't here. Don't you think I'm cute? Well, that's not the point. No, not here. Not now. Oh. I'm very vulnerable right now. I'm reaching out to you. Oh, no. Yes, yes. Hey, there, take a look at that. That's what you want, isn't it? There's plenty more where that came from. Wow. Catch me! Well, look at that. Abner planted soybeans this year. Hmm. Uh, look, the Swansons are sunbathing nude again. Yeah, I'll just keep looking at the soybeans. Mm. Wow, the music really matches the action. <laughs> please say the end. Please, oh, please, oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, I thought someone was gonna die. Yeah, make with the death. Yeah. Wow, oh, he's making a lot of noise. Your set includes 100 scale model men and a dog. Hi, kids, it's me, Petey Plane. <laughs> well, I've got a cold, but it's okay. Do you know the Petey Plane song? It's Petey Plane. It's Petey Plane. Ah, uh, shut up and taxi, Petey but, Plane. But the kids. Shut up. Send your postcards to me, Petey Plane, care of this station. <laughs> Petey saved us again, Joe. Come on, boys. Petey's waiting for us back at the hangar. Good, Harry. They look like big seagulls. <laughs> yeah, seagulls. You know, without Petey, the whole town could have been flooded. Where's Beth? Oh, she and Joe went after the jumpers. Oh, huh? I see. I took a picture of my foot once. How and it look? Great. My grade school teacher couldn't have drawn a better figure. Eight. <laughs> hey, Bernie, after lunch, let's try that hand Okay, by me. You want to hang on to my heels or should I hang on to yours? Your heels, my heels, doesn't matter. We should try skydiving, too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ba boom Joe, let go of her arm. Ooh. Helping her, Harry. What's eating you? I'll tell you what's eating me. You've been paying too much attention to Beth, and I don't like it. Ooh. Hey, come on, guys. Let's have a cup of hot coffee. Harry, let's not have a coffee thing. again. Let's forget it, Harry. It's you I love. Yeah. Let's forget it. Our current garbo. Finally, coffee. Ah, there, there. Look at a cheery picture of Emily Bronte up on the wall. How high will she go, mister? Oh, 16,000 feet. Maybe higher. When's the big jump? My dad said I could watch. Very unpopular, Tell sir. Daddy, we plan to jump next Saturday night. 
Next Saturday night here, mister? <laughs> That's right. We'll be here. Wow. Okay, see you, boy. Wow. You never should have kissed me, Joe. Hmm? It wasn't just a kiss. I know. But I love my husband, Joe. And I've got a kiss. And canker. I think he loves me. Maybe he doesn't always act that way, but I still love him, good or bad. You'd like me to leave, is that it? <laughs> no. You don't have to leave. Finish your coffee first. All right. Friends? Romans, countrymen. Friends. Petey, the president wants to talk to you. The president wants to talk to me? Why, it's very important, Petey. Oh, son. What are they jumping? Me and the family drove a long way to see them fools jump. We're not his family. Oh, Help us. The fools. They'll be jumping soon. Actors. Just keep looking. Right up there. Actors. How high do I look? Oh, about 3,000 feet. Can't you see I love you, Ada Annie? <laughs> hey, Bob! You got a ride piggyback, aren't you? Hmm? We're gonna try it. Hey, now, Bob, what are you gonna do? You gonna grab me about here? <laughs> well, I say we go to the one. Okay, come on, let's try it out. What are they doing? Gladys and Abner Kravitz. Why, it looks like they're wrestling. Wrestling? Well, I think they're leather boys, dear. <laughs> Just get in. Get in, don't talk. <laughs> hey, son. You think they'd grab me about here? Yeah. <laughs> what in tarnation is them fellas gonna do? Phil Rizzuto. Well, it's like this, mister. Yeah? They're gonna go up 5,000 feet in 5, the air. 5,000, you say? And jump. Hmm. One guy's gonna grab the other guy's legs and ride him down piggyback. Ride him down piggyback, yeah, piggyback. yeah. I like it. Let's take it to Broadway. I'll declare. Well, hi, kids. It's me, Petey. Remember, don't pour acid on other people's parachutes and learn how to jump at a certified training center. That's me, Petey. I'm Huck Finn, I tell you. Do you fly? All the time. That is so cool, man. He turns on. Oh, wow. Wow. Petey's last flight. Uh, tell us when we're over the drop zone, Petey. Roger, sir, and watch out for the downdraft, okay? Someone got a vomit bag that hasn't been used. <laughs> Papa, they're jumping! Oh, my Papa is good. <laughs> <laughs> Not you again, you're insatiable. I hope Petey makes it. I hope this is the acid jump. <laughs> Just look at that sheen. I'll wait till Servo sees this. Nobody had to give me a car. I can't wait to see the look in his eyes when I drive up in this beauty and... Oh, uh, uh, sure it's not. <laughs> uh, unknown vehicle on desk, please acknowledge. Unknown vehicle, acknowledge, over. What the hell? Uh, car on desk, acknowledge. Huh. Vehicle not responding. Mandatory termination procedure be gone in the name of God and country. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Splash one. Splash one. Look at the carnage. <laughs> oh, what a great day. Well, I'm going to swing her around again and confirm a termination. A beginning run. Yeah, termination complete. Acceptable losses. Let's go. Damn you, Servo! There's going to be a dance? Yeah, that's right. The dance Sorry, will be at folks. 8 and then the yeah. jump will be at 9. Hmm? The band? Sure. Jimmy Bryan. It's not unusual. Oh. It's an episode. Oh, somebody put a tongue under his wallet. Les Paul. Hey, the big one's back. There she is. She's wearing a novelty terry top. 
Mick Jagger looks beefy compared to this guy. <laughs> oh, a salute to no panty lines. They withheld all the interesting people till the end of the movie. Hi, I'm Petey's dad. Is Petey off on another adventure? I'll keep my eye out for communism. There she is again. Look, look at her. Look at her. She's so great. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Mind if I cut in? It's like Tom Borwinkle coming wow. in to dance. Oh, oh, Mr. Carter. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's turned oh, into oh. a John Waters film. I think that heroin has hit this town in a big way. Yeah. No, please. Oh, oh, my <laughs> friends are out right here. Oh. <laughs> George Herman Ruth on guitar. Come on, come on, you want a piece of me? Oh, you do. Oopsie, baby. <laughs> I stuck out because my parents are asleep. <laughs> this is the last time I take you on your paper route. Out. H.R. Haldeman on drum. I think it's this town's passion play. Oh, sorry, don't know my own strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Harry, let's go out and join the party. No, let's stay in the crawl space. I don't feel like going to a party tonight. <laughs> oh, kill joy. I'm Annie. That Harry. Kill joy. Uh, Polonius. Put your arms around me and kiss me, Harry. <laughs> or kiss me smooth, either way. Whoa. Oh, ish, girl stuff. It's kind of their trip to not so bountiful. Filmed in despair vision. Ah, the Laura Petri line of fashions. Bolt clam skull. Thank you. That's good. That's enough. Thank you. <laughs> I assume Ike didn't know this was going on. I have to confess, I didn't wear black socks. Is that okay? Uh, my underwear's not black either. I hope that's okay. Sir, uh, Rodeo Days is down the road a bit. Ooh. Hey, a Scotsman can handle any woman. What? What? Oh, no, the skydivers have been laying their huge eggs. Which two are his? Susan, you think we ought to? Yes. Well, being here yes, on us. I don't even call you a broad and you hit me anyway. It's not fair. It's good. She slept with a pharmacist for some sea breeze? The juxtaposition of scenes, it's just like The Godfather. I'm Eamon McTavish! It's the Scottish version of Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, shoot, it was perfume. Well, that's still pretty acidic. This here is the butt of choice, right there. Yeah, it won the palm de butt at Cam. <laughs> <laughs> It hurts to witness things. Have you found the butt, folks? It's the one with the dots. <laughs> there it is. It smells like friction pour the bond in here. Feel like trading shoots just for the heck of it? Ooh, someone's giving birth in the next tent. Well, I got a pinhead, so this fits me well. <laughs> Now, she doesn't need a helmet. But Nancy Kerrigan. How about that Anita Eckberg? You know, I'd like to jump out of her plane. <laughs> she revolutionized the breast. <laughs> Hit her. Bill, you don't need to gawk. We're married. Well, I'm spent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, must be the village people auditions. Mm. 
We applaud the concept of flight. Yay! This isn't the right stuff. It's just some stuff. <laughs> Which one of these skydivers has the acid? The Gemini astronauts approach the DC-3. They pause to kiss. Like David and White kiss and then get into the couch. Good luck, you're gonna die. Good luck, you're gonna die. The Doubleman twins are kissing him goodbye. Why is he carrying an ostrich egg? Boy, that last one smelled like acid. Pinocchio, why you go on to play? Oh, in Scottish, the friend. Goodbye, everyone, and tell PD I love him. We're so glad we had this time together. It's a great kettle of googies. <laughs> I, I, I can't get the door closed here. Does anybody know how to get the latch? I can't quite close the door. I, my thumb is... Oh, I can't. Bye. Meanwhile, behind German lines... The turning point in the war came when the DC-3 arrived. Sacre bleu, bonjour. Milt. We better not stay, Susie. <laughs> Hippa! <laughs> oh. Going up to 16,000 feet. Yeah, that's the ticket. Jump. Fall the 2,000 Make it so. The ring. Miss Irkutsk. The German army advances north in a Cadillac. Ah, uh, they'll do that. Yeah, they will. It's crowning. Hey, school's out! Woo! They're popping out of there like spiders out of an egg sack. Ooh. Hey, wait, I jumped already! We've been waiting the whole movie for a skydiving scene, and now it's here. Oh, no, it's nighttime. They accidentally jumped the wrong direction. <gasps> 30 buffalo shots over Tokyo. Well, this is fun. I can see why 150 bucks is a fair price to pay. Hey, I can see my Earth from up here. <laughs> have death coming up to play a chess game with you? Now, what do you suppose that big brown thing rushing up to meet me is? <laughs> just want to get some out of my purse. Oh, my Kleenex! Oh, no. Huh? What? Why, some kidder put acid in my shoot. <laughs> you guys! Oh, it's the two-legged race. Go! Mm -hmm. Be hotcakes for sale. Oops, there goes another skydiver curb plop. Oh, so that's a pancreas. Looks like an ear of corn. Uh, up a little if you're trying to resuscitate him. Yeah. This is a real challenge for any band to bring this party back up. And the crowd is fleeing with Samuel Barber's adagio for strings. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just. He's dead. Quit making such a federal case about us. Call the deputy. What happened? I recommend a little session on the ladder with me, your new boyfriend, eh? Well, everyone, there's plenty of hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> I saw Susie and Frankie leave the hangar. She killed him. Nobody likes a tattletale. Is that Frankie and Susie? Meanwhile, in the north of France... Oh, this must be her first murder. She should have known to wear flats. I really like you. Can I keep holding you? I like you. Hey, Vern, how's your shoe? Acid. It's very good. Have seats of pretty low-down things in my life. This isn't one of them, but... Shirley Temple Black. What happened, Joe? Somebody put acid in this shoot. Do you know who did it? Maybe. Take care of her, Lance. Why don't they look? Oh, that's one of them 747s, huh? All right, let's get up. I guess I've got change for a five. Why now? Yeah, check Highway 6. Hmm? Look at that. 
Now you see here, the director is beginning to lose control of the film. It's typical of young directors, too many good ideas. Yeah. Or in this case, none at all. <laughs> I don't know, I still like this movie better than Top Gun. Oh, yes. A lot better. Uh, holy, it sounds like Petey has a bladder infection. <laughs> now that Harry's dead, we get all the... What do we get? I feel like a cheeseburger. Will you go make love to the guy at the Jack in the Box? <laughs> Great, an inconspicuous white T-bird convertible. Well, her job as a kindergarten teacher may be in jeopardy. Proceed carefully into the chase. Hey, you folks know anything about a jealous woman and her stupid boyfriend? Hey! Susan, don't hit me, but we need gas. I just bet you she smells like Marlboro's and Arpege and Juicy Fruit and body odor. <laughs> this is a surprising twist. I didn't think it was them. So I nailed the druggist for no reason? Well, this film has more parking spaces than most movies. Well, what if this was at the theater with From Here to Eternity and your friend wanted to see that, but you insisted on seeing this, huh? <laughs> we wouldn't be friends anymore. Mm -mm -mm. Release litter! Frankie had a nice little gal there in Mary Lou Parkinson, but no, he had to go with this hotsy totsy girl. Donald Nixon! Well, it's one of those cars, I'll just start shooting. Pat Buchanan with a gun! Oh, no! Normal. That's the ground, right? That big okay. Okay, drinks all around! <laughs> I'd like a big steak, like they got, yeah. Whether chasing or being chased, remember, drive defensively. We needed to get close enough for the tranquilizer dart to find its target. Oh, my teddy's riding up. Ooh. Hey, sir, ma'am, your gas cap's open and your coat's hanging out and your thing's dragging. Hey. Where the hell is my old fashioned? See me a hippie. Get your hair cut, hippie. Not so groovy, is it? Well, crap, I gotta shoot somebody. We saw you folks in the vicinity, so we're killing you. Ah, oh, the happy gunplay sequence. This is the lift this town was looking for. <laughs> they playing Smetna's Mob Wasp in the back of the scene? Hmm? Instead of the French connection, they base this chase on the French lieutenant's woman. The chase scenes rarely end with angle parking. Golly, better kill this guy before the rain sets in. <laughs> hey, the cottonwoods are in bloom. Oh, get... <laughs> I'll be safe in the land of lollipops. They move the shoot to Ireland? Look, a Republican fantasy. <laughs> Hurry, Switzerland is just over the hill, and then 3,000 miles, and, and then the ocean. Okay, I'm dying, jeez. Freedom is right. Yeah. You're next. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure this is the guy the cops were chasing. Yeah, there. Well, we do have frontier justice in this town, right? Well, time to backfill the case, boys. <laughs> I regret nothing. Jeez, if only she'd slept with the paramedics. <laughs> Oh, ironic, because that one guy really liked that sort of plant. Mm -hmm. What a day, now they're getting rained on. Sometimes I wish the rain would fall down and wash all the me out of this town. Can I get that coffee to go? Ooh, she needs to spackle her neck pit. Beth, I'd like to stay around and help you get to school on his feet again. 
if you'd like. I'd like to do that, but I won't. Thanks, Joe, but I don't think so. I have offers to model for Fleet Farm. I was happy here with Harry, but... I wouldn't be happy here with you, God knows. Now that he's gone, it would bring back too many memories for me. Would you? I'd be leaving here myself pretty soon. I need to get into my car. Thanks, anyway. I need to get... Well, Can I get it, get into my car? That's Can you... the flaw. Good luck to you, Joe. A stranger comes to town, touches nobody's life, and leaves. Hmm. Well, I'm sure I'll be getting back through here sometime. That's and okay. Well, did I have a brooding intensity or anything? Not really. Bye. All right. Goodbye, Petey, Skipper, Froppy, Wing Wing. Goodbye. Bye. Come but, back soon. Yeah, we'll see you then. Nice to meet you. For Hair Blossom. Hmm. Thought somebody would show up for Harry's funeral. Oh, well. Now I can do what I really want to, which is... I'm not sure. Huh, what color is my parachute? <laughs> yeah, this was really a chick film. <laughs> Kevin Casey died in a mysterious parachute accident. Eric Tomlin died in a mysterious parachute accident. Oh, God, remember this scene? This was great. Mm. Silently, dismally, the credits roll on. Uh, well, to be honest, the uh, test audiences weren't thrilled with this guy. An actor called Bob? <laughs> <laughs> As the cut face return. Who will take me to the big place? Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> it's been a super hard day, huh? Mm, mm. Cut myself in half, yep. got all tangled in my jock strap. <laughs> you strafed me. I overreacted, <laughs> and I'm sorry. Ah, oh, heck, Tom. Sun can't shine on the same dog's ass every day. Ooh. And I've learned you got to persevere. Mm -hmm. Even this need not be defeat, my friend. Oh. Struggle with me now, Tom. Okay, struggle. Here we go. Uh, uh, struggle. Uh, 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 hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> Parachuting? <laughs> yep, really almost worked, too. Now Crow's teaching me to persevere. <laughs> I see. Well, you need any help getting down? No. Uh -uh. Mike, that would just stunt our development, and uh, we'll just hang here and persevere, and yep. one day soon, we'll get down. Okie dokie. I'll just read a letter, then, if you don't mind. Oh, boy. Uh, I got a letter here from Ben D. Martini. Ben. Ben, ben D. Martini. I bet it's a dry letter. <laughs> yeah. Put that on still store there. Uh, dear, uh, uh, you got that. Dear MST3K gang, you all do excellent work. The show has to be the funniest oh thing to oh hit boy. the airwaves oh since boy. Chips. I love that show. Remember Punch and Judy on Chips? Uh, who is Punch and oh, uh, I'm finally getting out of college and heading to a long, toilsome life as an accountant. If Tom Crow or Gypsy need investment advice, I'm not the one to come to. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Hey, Nuvina, feel free to warp in any time. Say. <laughs> well, thanks, Ben. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. Well, that's that. You sure you don't need any help? Because, uh, you know. Absolutely no problem here, Mike. Nope, 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 nope. nope, nope, nope. We're just going to persevere yep. till I can feel myself getting down even as we yep. speak. <laughs> well, Gotta then think. I guess there's really nothing for me to do except... Uh, do some more swing choir. Oh, no! Would you like to fly in my beautiful balloon? I know you would. <laughs> hey, heads up, Frank. Ow! Come on, stay in the circle, you puss. I'm sorry. Come on. Ow! Come on, Frank. Oh, hi, Nelson. Turns out Frank here is a little puss. Ow! So we're teaching him a little lesson. Come on, Frank. Hey, when is it my turn? Frank, I keep winning, and you're still a puss. What can I do? Ow! I call time out. Stop. Baby, you push, push the button, Frank. Stay in the circle!
don't know. I feel real free up there in that high blue sky. 